This is the hold. And what's it holding? You'll see. Let there be light. Oh my god. Darlings. Hundreds of them. 284 to be precise. It's like a, a war zone in here. Donna, I didn't mean to leave you... leave you with all this. Oh, don't worry. If they're not dead on arrival, they don't last long. I make sure of that. Did you smash them up too? If you did, you're stronger than you look. No, they turn up like this. The Obscura has a way of chewing up its visitors. Yeah, we felt a bit of that when we arrived. So why are they in the hold? The Time Lords on this station used to collect interstellar debris for research, with vast dimensional nets skimming the stars. These days, any Daleks drifting out there get caught in the webbing and are pulled in here. What I want to know is, where are these Daleks coming from? That's a very worrying question. And this has been happening for the past 12 years? No, no, much longer than that. But 12 years ago, they started to arrive, and they looked different. Why does that sound so ominous? Let me show you. Well, this is fascinating. What the hell have they done to themselves? They've... They've given themselves wings. Welded onto their backs like metal bats or something. It looks like they tried to go hang gliding and failed. As far as I can gather, they've been installing all kinds of technology on themselves, presumably in an attempt to steer through the Obscura. Well, it hasn't gone very well for them so far. Well, no, but look at them. They've all got different modifications, different stabilizers. So they're not afraid to keep trying. Exactly. But why? What's so exciting about this obscure time storm thing? Donna, can you take us to the last Dalek you recovered? New arrivals are over here. Still held up in customs. Ace. Let's take a look. This one arrived only a week ago. Did you hear that? Yes. It's still alive. Barely. They sometimes whimper for a week or two. I've tested them to see how responsive they are. I'm guessing that testing is a euphemism. It's hardly torture. Besides, as I've discovered, their pain threshold is incredibly high. You've scanned the Dalek for any outgoing transmissions. The hold blocks all signals, in and out. Yeah, yeah. I want to make sure. Brax, <laughs> do you know why the Daleks are doing this? Have you ever heard of sheep being driven across a field of landmines? Picture that, but with Daleks. Any Dalek that survives its journey across the Obscura can activate a homing beacon and alert its friends to a potential safe route. And why do they want a safe route? Well, think about it. The Obscura is the biggest tear in space and time, and this station has formed a fraying gateway to a thousand dimensions. If invasion is imminent, this site would be the perfect launch pad, and they'll want control of the weapon as well. Weapon? What weapon? Does she have clearance to know? Yes. No. Uh, uh... Why don't I have clearance? Because I say you don't have clearance. Oh, don't play games with me, Brax. Do you want us running round like three blind mice? Three blind mice. Well, that's not creepy. They've never spoken before. Three blind mice. Why is it saying that? Ooh. Make it stop. It's making me feel weird. You're about to feel a whole lot worse. I'm picking up a faint signal from this one's casing. You can't be. If the Dalek is transmitting it... Quick. Quick, back to the control room. We may yet be able to block the signal. We can't just leave a Dalek. It's all chained up. We can do more testing later. Come on. <sighs> See how they 